going back? <laughs> All right. I want to thank uh, Chair Moya, Chair Adams, and Acting Chair Deutsch for their work on our land use subcommittees yesterday. Today we'll be voting to approve LU-20, the landmark designation of 827-831 Broadway buildings. The buildings located in Councilmember Rivera's district is in Manhattan are twin Civil War era marble palaces notable for their architecture, but which also gained cultural significance after World War II due to their occupancy by prominent artists of that era. We'll be voting to approve LU-26, a landmark designation of the Interboro Rapid Transit Company. Powerhouse located at 855-869 11th Avenue in Councilmember Rosenthal's District in Manhattan. The Powerhouse opened in 1904 to power the IRT subway and was the largest generating station constructed up to time. It's, it represents a unique integration of 20th century engineering and classic architecture expression. We'll be voting to approve LU-27, the la landmark designation of the Empire State Dairy Company buildings at 2840 Atlantic Avenue in Councilmember Espinal's district in Brooklyn. The building are a former dairy production facility designated in the early 1900s. We will be voting to approve with modifications LU-28 and 29, the 35-10 Astoria Boulevard rezoning in Councilmember Constantinidis District in Queens. The zoning map amendment will rezone the project area from R6B District to C4-3 District, and the zoning text amendment would map the project area as mandatory inclusionary housing, utilizing options one and two. We are voting to modify the text amendment to, to strike option one to ensure that a greater number of affordable units are created, as required by option two. These actions will facilitate the development of a new seven-story mixed-use building in which approximately 11 of the 35 apartments will be affordable. Are there any questions or remarks on these applications? All right, seeing none, I will call a vote in accordance with recommendations of the subcommittees and with the support of local council members to approve LUs 20, 26, and 27, and to approve the modifications. I have described LUs 28 and 29. Will the clerk please call the roll? Committee Clerk Matthew DeStefano, Committee on Land Use, roll call to approve LU numbers 20, 26, and 27, and to approve with modifications LU numbers 28 and 29. Chair Salamanca. Aye on all. Gibson. Aye on all. Barron. Aye. Constantinidis. Aye on all. Deutsch. Aye on all. King. Ku. I don't know. Reynoso. Happy to be back. I on all. Richards. I on all. Welcome back, Reynoso. Torres. Grodenchik. I. Adams. Thanking all of the members of the subcommittee on the maritime uses, landmarks, and public sighting. I on all. Diaz. I on all. Moya. I on all. Rivera. I on all. Council Member Barron. Permission to explain my vote? Council Member Barron to explain her vote. Right. Thank you. Um, I vote I on all with the exception of the Astoria Boulevard rezoning. Uh, I understand that the council member's concern was that he needed to get more affordable housing in there, and that's why he has option two. But as many of you know, um, I think that we did not go far enough with when, when we decided on how we would have these MIH programs, but certainly I think that option two is not um, one that will be, be beneficial. So with that one, I'm voting no. Thank you. I on OBS. Today's land use vote is as follows. LU numbers 20, 21, and 27 were approved by the committee. 15 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. LU numbers 28 and 29 was approved by the committee by the vote of, was approved with modifications by the vote of 14 in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions. All right, I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, council, and land use staff for attending today's hearing. I will leave the roll open for 10 minutes. Thank you.